Castizo Radio is for adults only. Castizo Radio. Welcome back. We're going to bring out another live show. Live to us. We got a uh, background music provided by King, Born King. If you ask him who he is and you're trying to find out how you can hear him better, because you hear him in the background and you like that certain song, follow us on SoundCloud. We we, we getting up there. We got a SoundCloud page. We got a iTunes page. We got a YouTube page. So subscribe. Stay in tune. This episode right here, we're talking about the legalization of marijuana. Marijuana. Can it be legalized in Illinois, or at least on my block? Pros and cons. <laughs> we're finna introduce the panel, and we're finna get to this one real fast. Go. What's good? It's Residential Young and Kurt. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at underscore Kurt S.I. I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> hey, this, this Kurt the Elder, you know what I'm saying? Asian Kurt. You follow me at Will Small World. Instagram. You know, this cuzzo, once again, don't follow me. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I feel a certain way about the weed topic because uh, on a political standpoint, I feel the only reason why it's banned is because they wasn't making money like they probably want to because uh, marijuana and tobacco, totally different. Y'all keep taxing these fucking cigarettes, but uh, <laughs> I can go to jail for a nick. But now what's crazy, in Chicago especially, now they giving out what I heard fines and tickets if you get caught with so much mm-hmm. marijuana. Yeah, they started that shit in the yeah, city. Yeah, it's, it's an infraction now. First yeah. place I heard about that was Chicago Heights, right? Chicago Heights said if you got anything bigger than a uh, a zip, anything yeah, bigger ounce. than an ounce of weed, more than twenty eight grams, you going to jail. But anything under that twenty eight grams, you are getting a ticket. A ticket for the weed? Yeah. Or a ticket for buying the weed? No, a ticket. It ain't even a buying thing. Like so, okay. So it's, it's a period. difference between possession and possession with intent to sell. So right. if they catch you with 28 grams and it's bagged up in nicks and dimes, your ass is out. My but question. if you got a whole zip rolled up in a Ziploc bag tucked in your pocket and you got a pipe on you and you tell them, man, this is for personal consumption, you straight. They're going to give you a ticket. You got to go to court. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They're going to give they, You really ain't got to go to court. You just got to no. pay the ticket. Yeah. So now are the cops riding around with scales? And if so, are they digital? Yes, they are. Scales. Digital scales. Digital scales. That's fucked up. They are. They wearing your weed. And that's only if you make them. Be honest with you. Like it's so many more it's so many people out right now with this with the weed like that. They making you like if you don't say, man, I don't need you to weigh that. That shit like drugs, nigga. They not gonna weigh it. They gonna eyeball it like any other drug dealer. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shake it. <laughs> and this ain't 28 grams. Get this bullshit out of here. Take this ticket and beat it. Now, do you think if they legalize weed, uh, Chicago, for one, will stop hollering broke? They'll start paying some of these lottery uh, winners more than $500. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's no. kind of fucked up. You got a gambling game that you can't no. pay off. I don't think. You know what? Like, most of the, the legalization of it right now, like as of Monday, last Monday, marijuana was legal to buy in Chicago. And they got eight dispensaries, okay? But you got to have a medicinal marijuana card. Just like California, okay. that was the experiment for the jump. So, like, the only people that can give medicinal cards are people with sleep problems, cancer, uh, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, cataracts. You know what I'm saying? Like, your doctor got to legitimately give you a reason to get this weed card. Okay. But then, if you look at it, where we at now, in this position, if you Google it, the nearest dispensary to buy legal marijuana is 45 minutes to an hour away from here. Damn. So, my main question, though... Ain't none in Chicago. That's my point. But my main question, though... So, I'm I mean, talking about revenue. Ain't none in Chicago. Yeah, so why don't Chicago get on the ball? Because it's not federally mandated. Chicago gets a lot of money from the federal government. A lot of programs, a lot of the things that we survive off of in Chicago... Are funded by the government. The government, the United States government, is not seeing the legalization of no narcotics. 
These are state things. Colorado, Cali, Washington, Washington, Illinois, all that is state things. So like if the government decide they want to come in here and say, look, we ain't honoring this shit, everybody's going to jail. <laughs> Even state representatives, whoever voted for this shit, all of that, they going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like kind of fucked up. They going to jail. Because it still ain't legalized through the government. Like the government is still fighting the war against drugs and marijuana is the gateway. All right, so youngin, are you with or against the legalization of marijuana? I'm with the legalization of marijuana for all of the benefits behind it. Give me, give me three benefits. Well, one, it'll definitely help rebuild the economy. It's been proven to assist people with a wide range of medical issues. Is that number two? Yeah, that's number two. Okay. And then three, I think it, uh, I, I, I think it's especially in, in cities like Chicago, murder rates and things like that will go down. Now, my concern with it being legalized in Chicago is I mean, we known as Crook County for a reason. It's not the street dudes, it's the politicians we got in office. Mm-hmm, true. So, do you take a chance with these crooked ass aldermen, all the persons, and let them handle the legalization of marijuana and the money that comes from it? See, but but like what Kurt the Elder was saying, if it's regulated federally, there's nothing they can do about that. Well, everything's been regulated federally as far as Illinois and Chicago go. You got to remember, we were the last, what, city or state to give up the fight for, you know, carrying your handgun concealed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's, I mean, it's a federal rule, but for whatever reason, Chicago always bucked back. You got to look at the city of Chicago in itself. Like, we get taxed for a lot of shit, man. Now, when you say a lot of shit, don't you think it's bullshit? I I'm, mean, no, I'm going to break it down. Like, let's start off with something simple like the window sticker. <laughs> Like, everybody got to pay. Your window sticker in Chicago, man. You know what's the damn thing it costs, man? That shit like a buck 25. <laughs> now, I heard it's some they got it going now where, because, you know, I don't I don't, I don't, don't pay the city sticker for Chicago. I would register my shit in the burbs. Right, all quick. day long. But I heard it's some shit now where it's like you can pay six months. And then you get another one six, six months, months and then another six years. Yeah. So, but look at where this, this city sticker leads to, though. Like, parking in Chicago is... A, 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 a commodity Like it's yeah. people tearing down whole buildings To make parking lots <laughs> You know what I'm saying Just and, and, so you can get paid And that's my concern with the marijuana So this is the thing with the weed though Everything is revenue The only reason why it comes down to them legalizing weed Is because You gotta think about how it was in the beginning Like cats is going to jail For 25 years For weed now, what's this I'm hearing that, you know, depending <laughs> on the grade of weed, like, you know, you hear all these, you know, you got the reports about if you get caught with that kush, they charge you the same time. <laughs> they, 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 measuring, they measuring the level of THC. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's a lot of that, to be done getting pulled off on the street, though. I mean, damn. Right. I mean, you got to go through discovery and all that shit first. They got to mm-hmm. they got to break it down right. in forensic files and all that type of shit. Measure your weed out, break right. it so, down. Hope so, it's, so you burning more money just to test this shit before you charge. That them. that's what come down. That's what happens though. Like they pulling these weed guys off the street, but they not really stopping the drugs. <laughs> like I don't see this. Kurt the Elder said flat out, I don't see weed as a drug. Me neither. That's these up. But, but you know what's so interesting about that? Neither does the government. And truth be told, if, 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 you, if you look up the U.S. patent, and I, I, don't, I don't research this shit, now, and, and I, I, I got the word for you. Like I said, I, I, I was waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> if you look up. You, and, you, and you can go to the to the United States Patent website and look up Patent six six three zero five zero seven. Okay. It it went in effect October seventh of two thousand and three. That's kind of recent. And that's recent that the that the government done got this patent, and it states in the patent. That is a non psychoactive. So it ain't psychotropic, basically. Right. 
versus your other drugs like heroin, cocaine, meth, cocaine. Yeah. The, the, the government know all this stuff. And, and I, I just don't see the point of it not being legal. I'm going to tell you why. And this is a point that nobody thinks about. Nobody sees it this way. They, they see it. And most of us see it as trying to keep the black man down. Most of your foundation jobs, most of these jobs that are beneficial to you, the kind that's going to pay you and you're going to work and make something out yourself, require drug testing. The reason why these jobs require drug testing is because these insurance companies that insure these jobs, insure your disability, your 401k, whatever you're making as far as your products and all that stuff, those insurance companies need to know that everyone at this job is drug free in case there's an accident. Because if they had any job y'all here, if you working a forklift and you smoking and something happened and you get hurt, insurance is not going to cover you. Right, and we were talking about blue collar jobs. We're talking, talking about, about we're talking, white collar jobs we, don't, don't even offer White drugs. collar jobs, are, you can work in a cubicle all day long <laughs> and they not random drug testing there's because no there is no all. accident to happen. Well, not only that, but there's no drug testing at all. No, they don't trust to get in. No. 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 Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Time out. Time out. 75 to 80% of white collar jobs so are not drug tests. Most you, you, HR you, jobs, which are white collar, or human resource jobs, it depends. Kind of job, it depends on where you're working at. Right. But most HR jobs require drug testing. Wait, do you know why they don't require drug tests? Most blue collar uh, workers are on drugs. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. we. Even legal drugs. Yes, they're on drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Vicodin, Oxy. Right. For so one, form, of, for so, one so, form or another. Right. So blue collar drugs, you have to get a drug test. But why, so I, say, why I say what I say is because insurance is the biggest monopoly that ever was created. I you can pay just something simple as car insurance for your whole life, 30 some years, and well, never have an accident and never get a refund check. Well, I don't give a damn what they say about the state farm, you don't have an accident. No. So the insurance companies right now are ruling whether or not there's going to be some legalization federally of. Marijuana. Right. And, and that's probably a big hold up. Very because, big hold Because I don't know that you guys know that the insurance companies have insurance. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're governed by the yeah. banks. So so when you do it when they do a claim on you for an accident, they have insurance on that. Yeah. They get their money back. Yeah. They governed by banks, basically. A bank is what says whether or not you're gonna get paid. So or not. I mean when I found that out, I was crazy. How can an insurance company have insurance? insurance company got an insurance on you, on company. That's an insurance company. That's, that's, that's insane, but it's true. Hey, man, I, yeah. I, it's one, true. One of my uh, best friends, man, works for insurance. She's an underwriter. It's a, it's a human being out here that decides how much you're worth. So if you got, you know, uh, AD&D, accidental death and dismemberment insurance, they decide on what $300 is going to cost monthly. That's an underwriter in insurance. Well, it's about odds. They do the odds. All the odds. Because everything is about odds and average. insurance. Yes, sir. The average so, is an odds. With the, the legalization odds. of marijuana, it's going to change all of that. So if you could say, if I could say, okay, I'm a business owner, right? Right. And I need insurance for my business to cover myself. Now, if I don't drug test my insurance, my employees, of course, the insurance companies have the right to make my insurance rates go through the roof. I can't get overhead. I can't make no profit if my insurance is high. Can't do that. So the only thing I can do to cover my ass is drug test y'all. Now so, they can still drug test you. What they will have on a the stipulation. Door, no, but they have a stipulation as of if you're doing drugs within working hours, you're fired or you'll get some type of di- disciplinary action. Now that's where it gets a little fishy with me because yeah. marijuana is in your system for a long time. Longer right. than now, most drugs. Issue. Right. Now, it, right. It Longer than most no, other drugs. Right. No, that's that's totally correct. Most depending on use if you smoke one blunt 30 days, some people will say yeah, 3 weeks. I mean, for But example, if you're a chain smoker for 3 4 5 straight days, you go on a weed binge. But for example, you for a couple months. Let's say you just smoke on the weekend. Now, your off days are the weekend. Yeah, you can you still come, be able to do whatever you want to do recreationally. Yeah. You right. come back Monday, I mean, you dirty for the next you 30. You stub your toe on the, on the desk, and they be like, oh, you hurt yourself on the job, drug test, and you get fired. And right. you're smoking on the weekend. But there's, I think people get issues with, okay, legally, you can smoke weed. 
But that's not saying that you can't get fired from your job for smoking weed. It's a big difference. There are also other jobs that, depending on the drug, so because weed stay in your system for a long time and cocaine stay in your system supposedly 24 hours. If you get yeah, drug tested, if days. you get if you get drug tested, yeah. say you're on a job and some accident happened. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I know my job is like this. If you get hurt and they find cocaine in your system, you're fired. But if you get hurt and they find marijuana in your system, 30 day probation. And you gotta go see a counselor. The DARS. Right. Yeah. You gotta go through drug counseling. Now Which depending I- on how long you've been on your job or whether or not it's union or anything like that. If you find cocaine or something in your, in your system like that, depending on how your job handles it, nowadays, it used to be before, you piss bad, you drop bad, you out. Yeah. Flat out. Ain't no question. You, you out. Nowadays, it's a tolerance to it. I mean, I totally agree. I mean, do you want your your, air, your airplane pilot smoking weed high? They do that, though. No, they don't get drug but, tested. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> but, but do you want it? Do you want them to? Do you, you want you that truck driver to be high? Depends on that motherfucker's track record. Hey, 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 no, hey, hey, I hey, don't. hey, look at Shorty. Look at Shorty. <laughs> oh, Do you yeah. want your bus driver to be knocked out like Shorty is right yeah. now? They got autopilot on the plane. <laughs> For everybody that's wondering, that yeah, short, short, dog, short dog is in the house, but he's a hardworking man. He uh, caught the itis off some uh, food, and he is uh-huh. posted up on the couch. Be, be, be real, Skizo. Out. Some fried chicken and um, fries. Yeah. All yeah. uh, he didn't have was watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had that peach pop too. Yeah, yeah. What if he's, the, the wild wood. He's knocked the what fuck out. But I don't know. I mean, personally, me personally, I would love to get into the weed game. You know, like the legally. Yeah, legally. Now and, check this out. But but that's that's the interesting point behind it because a lot of growers and people that's in the weed game now don't want it legalized. And the reason for that is because of how they're going to get taxed. Let's get back to this insurance. I mean... To like, have a dispensary, you have to have almost $500, 500000 I'm sorry, sitting in a bank as collateral just to open a dispensary. I agree. Because there is no insurance for a dispensary. So you have to have your own insurance, basically. Yeah. Let me you know ask what I'm saying? In case let me you get robbed. Y'all. In case the place catch on fire, catch somebody get sick from smoking your drugs, Let me or ask y'all your a question, cookies though. or your, bar, your brownies or whatever. Do you think that America will let the black man get into the weed game? Yes. Why? Because money don't got no color. All they see is green. I agree with him. It's not a it's not a black and white thing. It's a green thing. I don't agree. You know, it's about money. Money be- come before color your skin. I don't agree. We know somebody who just sat at this table right now, right? I'm going to just be real 100 with you right now. That applied, was approved, and couldn't come up with the money. Exactly. That was the only thing, though. They didn't care about his color. But my question is... He you, couldn't come up with the money. If you come with the money, are they going to scrutinize where it came from? They're going to let you pay your money. I don't agree. Even if it's credit. Of course they is. I mean, they, they scrutinize... They're going to let you pay your money, and just like any other crook, any extortionist, they're going to come looking for some old bread I mean, every month. I mean, let's be real. I mean, they scrutinize anything, any business you open up. I mean, if I don't care, you have cash money up front. When when you when you give your 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 info to the landlord for that building, they want to see where this money is coming from, how much money you got in the bank, and how they don't get paid. And what's so and that's every, you exactly. Yeah. And they they want to see the whole nine. Yeah. Okay. Well, answer this question: If eighty five percent of legal marijuana was owned by black people, and they started coming up, y'all don't think it'd be repercussions from that? Yeah, it'll be slow, late, bad customer service. (laughs) 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 It'll open up on time. (laughs) You'll get some bad weed. Okay, let's say it ran like a glove. It ran better than the McDonald's. You don't think the government would be a little bit, hey, they hey, they growing too fast. Nope. I don't nope. like that shit. Everything runs better than McDonald's. (laughs) They're they're, they're getting paid. As long as they get taxed, the, the politicians and the government will be happy. They're not technically trying to make sure that you can you can pay them every month. If they put you in debt, they fine with that. I don't agree. I, I really don't agree. Bro, do you know what this country is ran off of? 
a deficit. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think they want. You know us. we owe that money too. <laughs> but I don't think they want us to eat. They don't care. Like they don't that. care. Oh, yes, they do. They don't care. They do care. If we gonna live here and be kind and claiming that we want the same freedoms no. that they got, they gonna run us the same way they run each other. No. Think about it. I, no, I don't agree. Oh man, I just, I just don't. I just don't agree. Do do the, do the, the math. Reason, the reason, like you just mentioned McDonald's. Do the math and find out how many black folks own McDonald's. The reason why I don't agree. Well, actually, it's, like it's, it's, it's a black McDonald's association. That's it's like that of, shit's like crack. It's a bunch of. Them. <laughs> I mean, so if you got the money, you can open up anything. Let's get rid of anything. That's my anything. point. Anything. Okay. Drug dispensary, whatever. When we okay. weed dispensary, whatever. I'm I'm, I'm gonna give an example. But they not gonna let you do. Right? They not gonna let you grow it and sell it for profit. I'm, I'm, that they may not let the black man get into. I'm going to give an example. We got a lot of rappers in the game right now making big, big money. Buku. We got a lot of athletes in the game making big money. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not trying to stereotype, but we know rappers and a lot of basketball and football players smoke weed. What, what Steezo, I think. And they I all think, looking. I think 90% ahead. of athletes smoke weed. Exactly. And I'm being honest with you. I, I, know. I know some. I do. About 90%. And, of basketball players for sure smoke weed. And, and a lot of those people with money, just like the man that's working the part time or the blue collar, are, are looking for ways to invest their money. Mm-hmm. I refuse to believe that none of them said, what about marijuana? So if they're not putting their money towards it, it has to be a reason. Now, I give props to Snoop Dogg because he's been known as a big ass weed head. I mean, I mean, you know, he's a good rapper, great rapper. He go down in history, but when you think Snoop and marijuana, it makes sense that he has his own line of marijuana or that he right. wants to get into the marijuana delivery business because right. he's been promoting it. And he's a, you know, he's a, yeah, he he's an avid. I mean, an advocate of marijuana, but yes. he ain't the only one. So it's like when I only see Snoop putting money into it, I kind of wonder see, what's stopping the rest of them. Go ahead, that, young. that go to imaging, though. Exactly. They're protecting their own brand. Because, like you said, exactly. that's Snoop's brand. An- exactly. Another another rapper, Wiz Khalifa, he got his own rolling papers, his own strain of weed, too, because that's his brand. But you never finna see LeBron James invest in that shit. You but, never finna see Steph Curry invest well, in that shit. Well, they smoking, that. Whether they smoking that. that shit or not. Just the brand, and also their financial advisor is gonna tell them not to do it, period, because it's still an untapped market. It's still early. It's not proven it's yet. It's still unsecured, too. So, but you got a lot of any minute, like I said, 10 any minutes minute. ago, the dumb government could come kick the door in. No, Blue. And that's true. All this shit's illegal. All y'all going to jail. All y'all going and to it jail. Happened. It happened. It has happened. Yes. But you have states where it's legal, and I'm pretty sure it's easy but it's for them. But it's not the federal government. But I'm pretty sure it's that's easy for state. them to get into the game to find out. That state sits in a in, in a country. I'm not saying I'm what not you saying, saying federal. What I'm saying is, if you have Colorado and Seattle getting hella fab money right now, I mean mm-hmm. they. I mean let's let's be real. Mm-hmm. I googled the numbers on Seattle. Oh my fucking goodness! They making good bread. Oh yeah, I, just, I was just reading about it, so I yeah, tell you the numbers. Yeah. The Mar- numbers, the numbers on um, marijuana um, for Colorado, for example, and these numbers it's, are it's, it's seventy million dollars for a year. Where they come of from? Taxes, of taxes, just taxes. Yeah, seven, seventy-seven, from? seventy-seven. Uh, you you, you can look it up. Yeah, look what it up. company uh, do they come from? Like where you pulling that from? Oh, this is Time Magazine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so seventy million dollars they made alone just for taxes. You can go to now Colorado this year. For all the states is going to be legal for marijuana, they're going to make over one billion dollars of saying, sales of sales alone. Can, collectively, one for the last five years, they've been saying that sales. marijuana could pull this country out of a deficit. But that's yeah. my point. I mean, when you have these kind of numbers, and then you see how the internet went crazy when they heard Oprah invested buku millions in Weight Watchers, mm-hmm. doesn't it make you ask yourself why okay, she ain't investing in weed? Yeah. You or, know why? Ha- or, or hash it Because it, it, weed makes you dumb That's why but, but, because, Nobody wants to promote dumbness It's a brand <laughs> It's a brand I mean right now Smoking weed is still not cool To the to, to, to those who are Those Powerful people You know what I'm saying yeah, It's still but, like uh, well, On but the that, flip but side that's It's not acceptable stereotype. But it's because You gotta think about Well Like we at that brand right now I mean at that time In our life Where well, the hippies is old The hippies True. Those those hippies that was True. in, in, in uh, what's that, Woodstock and back in the 60s, right. you got to think about that. They 80 years old now. Right. And they still smoking weed. They still smoking weed, but at the but, same time, they the done moved off. Look, they done moved off to some back road country in the middle of nowhere where they not paying no taxes and they not living 
but that same person who didn't smoke weed died at 60 because of fried chicken. Mm-hmm. That's my reason for legalizing weed. Now, now at the same time, let's look at Colorado. Like you said, you said Colorado and Denver. Was Colorado. It? So let's look at their crime rate. Let's and look Colorado. at their uh, they employment rate. Let's look at their college graduates. Let's look at all the stuff that come when you grow up from weed. I remember, well, we got How's the, that working the, the states that's you know legal right now, Colorado, but, but I'm, um, I'm, Seattle, these are small states. They're, I mean, you know, population-wise. Yeah, population they're, they're not yeah. big states at all. They're very small states, and that's what's going to happen. They're testing the small states out at, at first. And then, cause yeah. imagine, that, imagine that this happened in New York. Imagine that. I mean, New York got what? 30 million uh, people live there? There's going to be a lot of steak sandwiches <laughs> getting ate. But, you know, <laughs> the reason why I think Illinois is a good state is because Illinois is a big state for growing. I mean, from soy to corn. Illinois in itself could probably take this country to a whole it, new level it, financially. It really could. I mean, because we, we can grow it and sell it right in the I same my, place. Yeah. I don't have an issue with that as long as, the, you know, the city of Chicago get that money to pay these taxes or sure. pay what, whoever they owe. These, mm-hmm. um, you know, these pension funds and stuff because they, they raping people out here. Yeah. I mean, but that's the, that's the thing, though. The pension funds are being are supposed to get paid off from the federal government. Okay, but hold on. But hold on, youngin. What I want to know from you is, and it's not because you're young, because I don't right. think weed has an age. No, no, no. What I want to know from you is, do you think by being young, you look at the legalization of marijuana differently because you're young? See, come, coming from a standpoint where I've done the research. Now, when you say research, you don't mean you test the product, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've looked at the numbers, you know, and, and, and I've researched the history. In that aspect, it's not because I'm young, but given the average 24-year-old that might have done the research, like tested the product, that might be all they looking for. Just you to get high. Yeah, just to get high. Let me add something else to it. Would you agree that from the time we was in high school to the time he was in high school, you may agree that there are more weed smokers? Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both, 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 all ages. Yeah, but yeah you know, all ages. All right, so wait, my question is this. All of us know somebody, and that's just keeping it 1,000. Yeah. Everybody in the room knows somebody that sells weed. And they complain all the time that they're not making no money. You know why? Way too many people smoking, it's way too many people selling it. The only way you're gonna make this money off of it now, like say for instance, they was just letting it slide through the government, like like the government let it come through the border and the states let it slide in. Like they do now. Like exactly. They let it do all that, okay? <laughs> and then now they realizing, man, it's bill we we getting caught with billions of Two, I think 200 metric tons of weed got caught on a train coming through Chicago Heights, right? So, yeah. Wait, wait, say that again. 200, train. 200 metric tons of marijuana came through Chicago Heights on a train. Now, I'm going to ask y'all, how many trains do y'all think come through the Chicagoland area? That's my question. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. If they caught 200 caught metric tons <laughs> on a train, that means one of two things. Either it had to go further than it had ever gone before. It had to go further than it ever had been gone before, or it was way more than it has ever been before. It might have been 500 metric tons right. five stops ago. Right. Now, if they keep catching these cats with all this weed, when they catch it, it's that case goes into discovery for years. That means that 200,000 metric tons of weed got to sit somewhere. And we got to pay for that. We got to pay for it to sit somewhere. Do you think that these people that put a street value on weed, so say 200,000 metric tons, 200 right. metric tons of weed, $5 million street value. And you think the they're going to let that sit there? No. No. You really think they're going to let that sit there? Well, not you know what? My, my big thing about it, it's not so much the weed. It's the, you know, I've been reading up on hemp oil and... It's a lot of other stuff that come out of weed, yeah. And and, and that's why I say that it would be beneficial for the economy because if you legalize weed, in turn, you're going to have to legalize hemp. It's all going to come in one hand, right? Yeah, yeah, you know know what I'm saying? They two different forms of the cannabis plant. And and it, it makes that possible because of everything you can use hemp for. 
You know what I'm saying? You 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 could use it to make clothes, so that replaced cotton. You yeah. can use it to m- make paper that eliminate cutting down trees. And then you can use it to go to sleep that eliminates Nyquil. Hey. <laughs> At the same time, that, that's a whole other issue. Exactly. Yeah, they look at, they, say, the they say how many cure, how many different people have been uh, forced into remission or has the ailments of cancer or all this, some of these yeah. drugs like a- HIV or AIDS. How many different uh, ailments have been cured or uh, suppressed yeah, yeah, by weed? Yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where glaucoma. Where the oil. Uh, yeah, yeah where it's yeah, the oil. Yeah. Like they got kids out here. There's people arguing right now that their kids got like uh, autism. Uh, Autism and uh, they have an epilepsy and all this stuff and and the H I H C the T H C in the oil is helping them slow down some of these seizures yeah. that they have. But but that's also and it's a natural cure. You know why they wouldn't give it to you? Cause it grow naturally. It's not man made. Yeah, they, that mean they can't. That on your own. They can't just they can't just come up with a number and say this is what it costs for us to put. Well, ancient. That's why I got to disagree with you. With one thing I've learned about this world and this country. They can find a way to charge you for natural resources. <laughs> <laughs> Water? Yeah. That's a dollar a bottle. Yeah, they will find a way to Oh, wait to a minute. Hold on. You like that? We're going to charge you too. Right. And we're going to tax the bottle that we put it in. Yeah. And then so we're going to tell you. And then we're going to make you pay to recycle that bottle. Mm-hmm. And if you don't recycle it, we're gonna find you. No, no, no. Actually, actually, we're gonna tax you for using that plastic bottle now. Right. Man. That that we put it in. Exactly. Remember, you know, remember Chicago tax you. Yeah. If I'm mistaken. I think those, it's ten cents. Yeah, ten cents per per bottle. Per something bottle. Like that. So yeah. a twenty four pack costs you two dollars forty cents exactly. off top. Mm-hmm. Now we want to hear from y'all. We want y'all to come and let us know how you feel. You please don't tell on yourself. Right. I'm not saying We're not that, trying to incriminate nobody. Right. <laughs> you know, I want you to comment on do you think marijuana should be legal or do you think marijuana should not be legal? But what I don't want you to do is to get religious on this topic. <laughs> yeah. Please don't go to the Bible about marijuana. Please don't start I'm 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 being real because a lot of y'all do that. We just asking your opinion. If your if your opinion has to do with religious beliefs, if you're a Rastafarian and you know you want to come with that Bob Marley, just be cool with that. We just asking your opinion on should marijuana be illegal in Chicago. Y'all know what's going on in the shot. I'm not saying that marijuana gonna make them put the guns down, but maybe it'll make them too slow and lazy to, to raise the guns up. up. All right. Sure so enough. from one end of it though, cuz on. The cons of it. What do you think is the downfall to legalizing marijuana in Chicago? You know what? I think it's always a downside when you uh, legalize any um, any anything that's that's addictive. You know, whether it be alcohol, drugs, um, well, that's an or, or cigarettes, say or cigarettes. Um, so I think it's an issue um, regardless. Because, you know, I mean, I never smoke weed, never have. Uh, but you know what people tell me is that look, you're not impaired. But I can see people that get impaired smoke weed. You know. Yeah. You know. So I mean, so that it causes issues in driving, like yeah. you know, just like alcohol do, and it causes issues in other uh, other ways. But the pros on it is look, money, tax the weed, get Chicago and the United States out of this deficit that we in. And and that, and that's what I don't get why it's not legalized now because if you if you use them same numbers from Colorado, that's seventy seven million, right? Uh, at, at least eighty million. U.S. is in a deficit of thirteen point eight billion. And you if know what? You all don't don't even go to the U.S. Right. Let's just stick with Illinois right. and Chicago. Right. Right. See, right. See, not, see, not see, they they right. hiring right. broke. Right. right. Not right. the U.S. Yeah, but but see. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers from from Chicago, so I, I'm, I'm hey, just oh, saying, I got you. I got you. I'm, Chicago, I'm just translating. Illinois can't pay his gambling debt. Right, they can't pay scratch offs over they, five they hundred dollars. They can't if the house only wins so one percent of ten better. If if only one person wins out of ten people, that means there's nine people's money sitting around here, but they ain't got it to pay off people. Right. Something got to be wrong there, bro. Something yeah. wrong, man. But I mean. Like I said, I don't, I don't know Chicago numbers, so I'm I'm just using Colorado as a as an estimate. Across and you talking all about the country over. itself? Yeah, I'm talking about the country itself. You know, not each individual state or city or whatever. So the country itself is in a 13.8 uh, billion dollar deficit. Now, 
at that 70 to 80 million times 50, that's at least 32 point something billion dollars. Damn. All right, all right. You, you know, let, let me let me let me get in right quick. So Chicago owes 14 billion dollars in debt. Wait, wait. You say B or M? B. 14 billion. In general obligation. And that's what them robbing debt. us red light tickets, parking tickets. Hell they yeah. Also, wow. uh, they also owe almost 20 billion. With a B. In unfunded obligations. So, so, to combine, so to combine, they owe 33 billion. So marijuana could really damn near save Chicago. Not the state, the fucking city. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's be real. If, if, if Colorado. I don't know their their population. Um, and that, it, you know, got to be what, what, five million, three million at the most. It's hard to guess because you know it me, is hard to guess because I, I I only know Colorado through South Park. So let's so. say a couple million <laughs> at the least. I mean, I'm, you know, probably one million, two Canada. million dollars, two million people. <laughs> Chicago, the city limits of Chicago is three million, just city limits. Dang. I think the state maybe what five million, maybe four Dang. or five million. Hey, you was dead on the hammer. They dead on there with the uh, Colorado 5.3. Damn. Damn. Right. Have you been there? <laughs> no. <laughs> South Park. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, in oh, no oh. mind, there is no con. Right. That's right. So, if, well, if Colorado made 75, 70, 75 to 80 million dollars in one year of taxes. Off taxes. What Chicago could make? Is Colorado growing it in Colorado? That's a good question. I, I don't know. They, they, they probably are though, considering that it that it's legalized. But the, chi- the, the I'm gonna tell you about. I'm gonna tell you what I what I know about weed. It, it don't grow everywhere. No, yeah, true, it don't. And true. that is we talking about Colorado well, Rockies where the oxygen no, 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 is a certain well, level. And well, I thought they uh, I thought they grow it in those big yeah. those big. Um, yeah, you have new growers. Yeah, new new no growing growers. like you know yeah, not they, outside but they like know. factories. And then you got they, they in, called, you know, uh, yeah, like, like what is it called? Uh, you you got you got uh what's that uh what's that magazine? Him um uh, high times high time. right. They have many grow houses in old. Uh, Tankers off the railroad, old yeah. boxcars, houses. We see uh, Pineapple Express. Yeah, right, all you need is <laughs> water, weeds, <laughs> weeds off Showtime. I mean, they show you many ways to grow it. So I don't even think it weeds, matters it on doesn't matter. no more. Yeah, you know, now the, only, I, the only natural weed you probably get now is you go to Jamaica. So, like, my question is this: So, is the <laughs> hey, marijuana is the marijuana that they could possibly legalize? Is the weed that they can legalize the same level of THC as what you buy off the street? Nope. Is it gonna be dumb? Is it better or worse? That's, worse. That's the that's the issue. Is if it gonna be one, smarter or dumber? If you get the is government, it gonna be better or worse? If you get the government involved on the drug, we're gonna they're regulate gonna, the TAC. Yeah, and yeah. they're gonna try to find a way to you know freak this and like that synthetic yeah. weed going out there right now. I mean, K two. Yeah, you don't want them putting their hands in. You know, it's it's kind of like the aspirin. The aspirin been around how long? Yeah. And they keep fucking with it. Yeah. I don't want you fucking it's with like weed that like that. It's like that comment you made uh, a couple years down the line. Martin Luther King ain't going to be a black man no more. <laughs> right. It's not going to be weed no more. It's Hell just going to no. be it's just, it's just what they a, give you. A, yeah, a, a Snickers bar. It's going to be with a Snickers With a filter on it like a square. <laughs> right. <laughs> or some big dumbass horse pills. Like, yeah, take two <laughs> take of these. This. You get high here. Yeah. yeah, click your heels. You'll get half of three days. Type mm-hmm. shit. I, I, I don't trust the government on that. Now, again, Good if point. you feel a certain way about this marijuana topic, come on. Catch up with us. Hit us up on our social uh, network. Yeah, go ahead and follow us at uh, Steezo Radio, Twitter, Instagram. Use Steezo Kush. Ooh, I like that one. I like Steezo Kush. <laughs> but don't bag that shit up and sell it without giving me royalty checks, please. I know how y'all do. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a kid from the shy, and, and I didn't partake. But I heard that they were selling No Limit bags back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, man, I'm going to let everybody go around and get their last part and shots. Legal, illegal, smoke, don't smoke, don't really matter. But we're going to tell y'all how we feel about Chicago and Illinois legalizing marijuana. Go ahead, young. Well, one, one thing I want to say is that I, I think it should be legal. And, and, and I kind of want to make this parallel. It's like one of those what-if situations, like you never see the other side of that coin. But going back to Colorado, because that, that's kind of the best example I got. In 2012, the Dark Knight shooting happened. The dude Wait, that, was that that was the 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 crazy white boy yeah, that came in the theater? Yeah. That okay, came in came about, in the theater. At that Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, Arsenal from yeah, Terminator. Exactly, okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And his uh apartment was booby trap. Now I did research on him at the time he was twenty four. 
He had a bachelor's degree in neuroscience. Enrolled to get his PhD. Never had a criminal record at all. Damn. At all whatsoever. Two years after that, marijuana was legalized. Now, do you think that a 24-year-old, regardless of what they going to school in, wouldn't have benefited from the legalization of marijuana? So, some Somewhere down the line, he would have smoked and kind of rethought everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I can't say thought, You can't say because it, it affects everybody differently. Yeah, and, and, I can't say and, could and, 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 and he and got true. some white castles. They got white castles in Colorado. <laughs> he went and got him some white castles, smashed, went to sleep, and forgot all about killing all people about at the, the Dark Knight Theater. He just huh? been farting in the bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, he was crazy. That dude funny, was crazy. Man. Hey, shout out Rest right. in Peace to the people that were like crazy. I kind of understand what you're saying. Like, it's a lot of thought process behind. I've smoked. Tango hide, it, right. you know what I'm saying? But as of recently, on my end, this Kurt the Elder, I've noticed that my thought process, and I'm a little older than you, younger, my thought process is different. I see things that I may have wasted time doing while I was high, that if I'd have stopped getting high early, I might not have did that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we use reefer, and I call it reefer, you know I'm old. I call it reefer. <laughs> we use that as a, 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 a pacifier. Man, I don't feel like doing nothing today. I ain't gonna smoke. And then guess what? You don't do nothing. <laughs> you go to sleep on the couch and you don't be a part of the radio show at all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Flat out. You eat a bunch of chicken, you be high and go to sleep. But on the other end of it, I know some people with anger issues. I know some people, I, I'm pretty sure there's some guys that fight every day. There's some rapists out here. There's some cats that got some pent up frustration that if they smoked, they may not feel the same way. May not. Right. You may know what not. I'm saying? May not. There's some creativity that came out of weed. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. A lot of food. Like Shout that. out Steve Jobs. Yeah. Steve Shout Bob out to Bob Marley. Shout out to Bob Marley. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Snoop. We talk about Snoop earlier. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm telling how true. many slow key secret weed smokers is out here in the world? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's lawyers and PhDs yeah, is out here that probably doctors. choke up on a regular basis. Yeah. What you think, Cuzzo? You know what? Outcast had a song. Oh, that's my favorite group. Go ahead. You know, um, the Kryptonite. <laughs> no, no, from Southern Playlist. The oh, they yeah. Yes, the, yes, yes. The first, the first CD. One. You know, um, they had two songs actually. One was Crumbling Earth. Oh, I'm just crumbling you know? earth. And the second <laughs> one, the hook was you need to get out, get out, getting something. You need yeah, to get, get up, up, get out, get, out, get, get something. something. Yeah. Stop wasting your time getting high. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you know, it's it's it's. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I'm stuck in the middle right now. I, I don't know. We're going to run the experiments. These are radio. All yeah. Right? yeah. Everybody yeah. that smoke right now, <laughs> yeah. take a pause for a year and hit us back when we famous next year. All right? <laughs> and let us know if, if the fact that you stopped smoking changed your life. Yeah. <laughs> and now, if you don't smoke now, start smoking, see me in a year, and see if you ain't fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now, my personal feeling is I think it should be legalized. I don't see the downside to marijuana when you got cigarettes and all this other stuff. I mean, Whitney Houston and them, they didn't die because of weed. They, they died because of prescription medicine. Yeah. That that shit to me is more lethal. Cocaine because is so kind of Yeah, because you, you you got people coming to the doctor saying, I saw a commercial, let me get this. Mm-hmm. And the doctor is telling you, I don't vouch for that, fuck the commercial. Oh, you got other oh, you got other doctors saying, oh, yeah, they sponsoring me. Take all you want. Yeah, so personally, I figure legalize it. Tax it the right way. Illinois, tax it the right way. Regulate it, yeah. You know, stop doing like the emissions and these plate stickers <laughs> and these window stickers. Tax it of, the right way. Because of the Illinois, Chicago don't know how to tax the right way. Let's get that right. <laughs> yeah, they're not yeah, going to do it. Yeah. They're not. I mean, think about it, dude. Downtown parking is like six bucks an hour now. Yeah. Hey, yeah, California got machines that dispense the weed. I slide your card. You slide your credit card and the, and the weed come out. You yeah. only got to see a grown person for this. And they accept so what about the IDs? It's How like they know? That's what you slide the card, the ID yep. card. Oh, the ID card you too. You slide your yeah. credit card and you can pick out what kind of spray you want and you're out of there. Wow. Yep. And it come wow. like a pop machine, like a candy bar fall out of it. Wow. Now, like I'm the not... Japanese or the Chinese or whoever it is get draws out of the vending machine mm-hmm. overseas. Same thing. Now, Shout now, out to them getting now, draws out of the now, machine. Now, Chicago, don't do that because <laughs> don't think going to happen. You're going to see some people I know Come up with a big ass dually truck <laughs> and, and snatch the whole and machine. Take that whole machine. They gonna so, pop that bitch over like right. they do the red box. So don't do that. I mean, do it the right way. Regulate the right way. You know what I'm saying? And again, if you feel differently, let us know. If you agree, let us know. And on that note, 
we gonna uh, sign this one out. I know that uh, that last song y'all heard, yeah, that was that was some jazz shit. Yeah, King, King get down like that. Oh, y'all hear this next one? Yeah, yeah, King get down like that too. And again, you want to hear that music? You can't find them. You need help finding them? Just go to our SoundCloud page on Steezo Radio. It'll be there. And we gonna holler. Stay tuned. dot com. Dot com. Dot com.